Hello folks! Welcome to the Poly Champions YouTube. South Penguin J, the winner of the Polytopia Dream Hack LAN in Sweden, talks us through the highlights of his Barter 1v1 Poly CN live game. You'll see some intense naval combat with bombers, scouts, and juggernauts, leading to a long stalemate, followed by a breakthrough. Okay, let's watch the replay. Hello, I'm Espark. I'm the leader of the Arctic Wolves and a junior on the Huskies. And with me today is South Penguin Jay. Hello, so I'm a former player of Lightning. And uh, yet I have played for a couple years. I won a tournament in uh, DreamHack in this summer. How much money did you win in that DreamHack event? <laughs> uh, before taxes, it was... Uh, $1,200. Dang, that's a lot of money. So, yeah, tell us about this game. This was from the Polyseum, right? Yeah, yeah, one of the monthly tournaments. Mm -hmm. It's quite fun. Do we know Arthur. who your opponent is? Who were you playing against? Do we know them? Yeah, okay, so as you can see here, it's the Danchik. So, as you can see, I got a corner spawn with a lighthouse, a uh, couple of resources, not that bad. Uh, my opponent, Danshik, got a almost corner spawn, mm. order axes, and um, my, my goal here when I play is just go center, get on, on the water as fast as possible, uh, otherwise you just lose. Unless you're playing against Worst, because he's uh, a lot better at this than me currently. <laughs> <laughs> so if we skip ahead to like turn five, yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so I got like three villages, mm -hmm. almost four. Pretty good, really good spawn. My opponent has two still, about to get a third mm -hmm. and uh, a ruin. So I think I didn't play that good this game actually. But if you see around turn seven to uh, to nine, you can see stuff starting. You got to a swordsman, right? You got a swordsman from the yeah. ruin. Did you get both get climbing for the ruins? It looks like you both took climbing. Let's look at the tech tree real quick. Yeah, I think we, uh, he got climbing. Yeah, because he moved on he to a climbing. mountain ruin, and I bet you did the same. Yeah, because yeah. that's where you got the swordsman. Got mm hmm. Yeah, so, so this, uh, for some reason, I got forestry as well, and organization, but not sailing, nor fishing. You probably got forestry because you didn't know that lumber huts cost three stars. Actually, you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> I was really surprised about that, too. <laughs> uh, so. All right, so what happens next? All right, so if we go ahead a little bit... Uh, Yes, from my perspective here. Yeah. Um, I, I have a really good spot. I have like one, two, three, four, five cities. But to get a sixth, I'm first in points by far. I, uh, I feel like, okay, I'm going to win this. No problem. <laughs> I'm on the water. No problem. This is going to be fine. Let's go. I have all this stuff. And there he is. I mean, uh, so my strategy early on was just to spam warrior boats mm -hmm. actually one more thing i didn't know at first was that you had to upgrade with it in your territory uh, but i had learned i had learned uh, that by this this game so i used to spam ships kill the opponent fast mm -hmm. that didn't really work out this cut in time because all of a sudden i see a a what's this called like a battleship bomber Bomber, a bomber. They're really good. I love the bombers. So he he just kills everything I have with the with this bomber that's in the fog. In the fog. So can you not even yeah. see it from your point of view? No, by turn eleven I couldn't see it. Yeah. Uh, I should have I should have noticed that there was a port connection there. Oh. But since the all right, so since I have nothing on the water, he's very soon going to get 
control. I have six cities. I have to play defensively. He moves his bomber down a little bit. I think since he doesn't have all the vision, he's scared of scared that I'll go kill it. But I don't have vision either. Well, now I do, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, so what's happening here is I expand my borders in my capital. I need more because uh, one tip I got from, from Wars was like, or like tip, he, he was kind of uh, complaining about not having enough places to put boats. Yeah, you need so more spaces for a port. You need port access. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. So what I did here was like just expand my borders mm -hmm. get to place, places I can put ports. Uh, so you see this little lake here. It's actually very vital for me since uh, it's the only place I can safely put mm. new boats without being sniped in case he gets water control. Yes. Yes. Yeah, sometimes we call that a river. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep that a bit. Like here, you see already. Look at how much he has. Mm. Keeps to me, and boom, nothing. <laughs> Who do you think is gonna win this? Like, if you just look at this. Yeah, his I'm position sure, yeah, looks yeah, really see. strong. He has control of the ocean, yeah. but you have more cities. Yeah, that, that's the thing. As long as he doesn't get a city, I'll win. So, um, as you'll see here, I did try to... Because I, I wasn't sure what to do this game. I got archery. <laughs> I got roads. Um, <laughs> I was going to get a swordsman, too. I was crazy. Uh, I got a bridge. I wanted to try it out. I haven't tried it before. Um, I was thinking if I just get knights and then mm -hmm. go over the bridge and mm -hmm. kill him that way. Uh, I was thinking he, he didn't have that much vision because he wasn't attacking me up there. And, yeah. Uh, I also get, uh, got these guys here. The giants and the juggernauts. The thing with the juggernauts although, is uh, bombers just shred them quickly. It's yeah. It's pretty long. Yeah, so the I bombers have a really long range, and they have that splash damage. So, like a dragon, they just... Mm. It's tough. At this point, I, I hadn't realized what I should do yet. <laughs> so, he was still gaining way more pressure on me. Mm -hmm. It's like, I have one, two, three, four, five, six cities still. Not, nothing I could do, I feel like. Look at all those boats he has. Oh, my yeah, gosh. It's crazy. He should have pushed me way harder. He was not pushing at all. Right, because as soon <laughs> as you make... That, yeah, as soon as you make a unit, they can kill you. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and it has splash damage, too. So if I make a unit in, like, my... In one of my cities... Yeah. Uh, in, uh, like, Bo um, Bugru... Yeah or a girl in, and then I put them in a boat and then make another unit, all that, uh, and they only just kill both of them yes. at the same time. Yes. So how did you get through? You have this one safe harbor in the back. Is that what you did? Let's see. So what's, uh, what happened is basically I was really lucky that he was playing, like, he wasn't that aggressive. He was a bit aggressive sometimes. Like here, he pushed a giant up to my city. Uh, he didn't have. He he didn't know what I was doing since he didn't have vision. Yeah. Which uh, which gave me a chance to fight back. So at some point, I started doing this little thing here with my bombers. Uh, whenever he would come close, I would just shoot everything down. So I, I had a little bit of protection mm -hmm. right around this area around my bomber. And I started spamming uh, archers mm -hmm. too, because archers are just really good. <laughs> I love archers. Yes. In the game. Archers are really good. So the two bombers back there, he could not see them. They were in the fog for him. And then you had mm -hmm. the archers. So between the two bombers and the archers, it gave you a little breathing room. 
Yeah, so whenever he would come close, like this giant here, he started pushing my capital. I got a bit nervous because I've had games before mm -hmm. where I, I would be winning and all of a sudden someone just takes my capital. So I always try to keep backup units near cap my capital so I can unsiege or just protect it. Yeah. Uh, th this time I didn't really have that, but I saw it in time to get some. So let's skip a little bit. Okay, turn 26. I still only have two bombers here. One of them is almost dead. It looks really bad for me here. He has seen my approach in the north. He's, uh, he's threatening my giant to go back. He has two catapults positioned there. Yeah, exactly. So I wanted to push him there with, uh, with my giant. But he got catapults. Mm -hmm. and then uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty scared that he'll use that bridge against me. I yes. I shouldn't. I felt, I felt that I shouldn't have built that because he'll just push up my giant with his catapults until he can reach my cities with his catapults. And yes. His, yeah, yeah. So in uh, Swedish, when uh, you play like certain child games, yeah, and someone, we, we have this game where you have. Uh, one place you have to run to and uh, to be safe. Uh -huh. And the ca catcher can just stand there. And we call that Kovakta, like they're just cow watching. <laughs> I, felt, uh, I felt like whenever, whenever people do this uh, catapult push, I think of that. They're just Kovakting my <gasps> position. That's great. Yeah, we have games like that too. And I get it. Like they're basically. <laughs> They're like a goalie guarding the net and like preventing you from scoring. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this uh, this here is pretty bad. He got a bomber right up to my capital. He can snipe it, and he's, he could almost kill my giant too. As you can see, I was pretty lucky that I could hit one of his bombers mm. with my archer uh, to keep him away a little bit. Uh, I'm also scared of putting anything in my capital because then his warrior can siege me as well. And if we skip even further ahead to turn 28. <gasps> he sieged you! This when, <laughs> oh no! Yeah, this is when he got a bit aggressive, I think. Because uh, as you can see, he's just shooting my defender uh, every turn and he's sieging sometimes. Um, yeah, as, as you see. Okay. So one of the highlights... Oh, you the sieged him. Using the bridge. Let's see how you did yeah. that. Oh, you have uh, so, riders. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So up uh, up north, he wasn't really feeling threatened by me at all. Mm -hmm. So he has stayed there, pushed up a warrior so he can get, get vision as well. Mm -hmm. At the end of the turn, you can see that I have, let's see, made... One rider, yep. and I have another rider, mm -hmm. and then I have a archer that can do much. He sieges me. Yes. And then in retaliation, let's see here. So the thing is, even if my rider is hurt, two riders still kill a catapult because he has no defense. And you'll see I made a road. And Hit, then and then you bounce in. Nice. Yeah. So obviously I couldn't capture it since yeah, he just shoots it. But I still made him lose five stars, which mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I was pretty satisfied with that. I felt yeah. like I had a little bit of a chance. Wait, he starts to push me a lot here. Like uh, with the ships. He doesn't have that many uh, bombers at the moment, but he will get them. So as you can see up here, now you have a yeah. little bit of presence. He sieges you and again. He, yeah, it, it's like that every turn for like ever. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like a stalemate. He has this line of naval units. You have ranged units on land, but you just can't get a foothold on the water. Mm, exactly. So, 
It's pretty interesting for me to see his side, actually. Uh, like, why does he have a catapult over there? I'm, I'm get, uh, Obviously, it's to push it up, but it feels kind of funny still, because it was relatively... Oh, did you siege it again? It wait, a... why didn't you siege there? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. His Listen, city was siege. open. I can't remember. It might be a <laughs> misclick, actually. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, in my opinion, he should have just kept pushing the water. Like, mm -hmm. he, he got too caught up in uh, making catapults to defend on land when he has bombers and he can just push. Um, and he could just make a line of defenders as well to defend against me but let's see here as you can see here he keeps pushing up his ships to shoot my bombers mm -hmm. and then i have to make new bombers every turn mm. wasting my stars yeah yeah it looks like you're just really playing defense and he has the advantage yeah felt like I could win pretty easily if I just kept at it. So how did you break through? Because it still looks like the <laughs> stalemate. Yeah, yeah. So you see all these ships, yes. Yeah. If you, we skip ahead, I don't know how long this game is. I think it was over 50 when I looked at it. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so I got markets. Ooh! Uh, why not? Yeah. We were, you know, you the only... See, the only time we really see markets are in really long games where you have all the tech because you need like a couple tier three techs to make it worth it. But if you're on turn yeah. 40, then odds are, yeah, you can get markets. Wow. So if you keep looking at this image, you might see some funny details. Oh, I see a mind bender. Where did you get to heal? <laughs> did you use the mind bender to heal? Yeah, it was way cheaper. Cool. So, oh, and you have I a think, knight. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when? Okay, we have. To, when did you get these texts? When did you get? Did you get um, philosophy first, and then the other ones because they're cheaper? I believe so. If we go back like five turns, I think. Yeah, the next turn I get philosophy. philosophy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to make that one mind bender, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. And then I turn off the that. Yeah. Get chivalry. Yeah. I, I, I still wanted to kind of push up here in the north. With the somehow. bridge. Mm hmm. Mm. And so, then you got trade yeah. for markets later. I think I was about to time out these turns. Oh. Mm. It was, that's why they were so short. Yeah. So actually, on turn 40, I got, I got trade. I was trying to set them up, but I kept uh, running out of time. Mm. Yeah, so if we check his tech real quick, you can actually see what he got. He got cloaks. Ooh! Which is a little bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he got one here. I Didn't see. Didn't go so well with Brim, though. Yeah. If we go to. I think I straight up just kill it as soon as he. No, yeah, there, there we go. Instead, I have three bridges over there. Dang. Yeah, <laughs> no water. Uh, so I try to like push out my battleships sometimes mm. to make game. So what I like to do when I play defense, uh, at least sometimes, is to just give my opponent something to kill so they don't just start pushing me. Right. Yeah, that makes it, sense. Yeah, it's it. It's like slowly feeding a rabid wolf like <laughs> with your body parts like here here's my nose eat it so he won't eat the rest of you immediately that makes uh, sense it's a little morbid <laughs> it's a little yeah, yeah i know dark but i get it yes it very dark <laughs> all right so uh, construction here somewhere oh yeah, yeah. um yeah, I got everything. <laughs> Did you do that just so you could have the monument? Yeah, I mean, it was it was just fun to get everything, <laughs> and uh, it was like I think yeah, I think I actually messed up one of the markets 
uh, since I had so low time. So I had to rebuild it and was like, screw it, let's just get construction. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, so I made this funny little play. I made it this turn. Oh, you destroyed a port to build a bridge? Yeah, th that's uh, one of the reasons, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. So I killed one of his battleships. Interesting. Something that I did a lot was like destroy the port, destroy the bridge, destroy the port, destroy the bridge, just back and forth. So uh, I could just attack him on that part of the land whenever I wanted without him being able to retaliate. Wow, I've never seen that technique before. I mean, you have to have a lot of stars to be able to just destroy a building and rebuild it but that's that's a really interesting tactic i have never seen that yeah, so at first i just let it let the bridge be but then he started using it as you can see uh, his swordsman is right on the bridge he has control i had to destroy it which, mm -hmm. uh, also uh, can you notice anything about, about this turn no oh, okay I see knights, I see, I see he has a cloak coming. Uh, what am I missing? <gasps> yeah, this one. Oh, there's a little cloak in the back. He snuck a cloak <laughs> yeah. back there. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was quite funny. Yeah, he uses his bombers still to wipe out your units on the coast okay. and he finally gets dangerous. he finally gets knights yeah so stop right there this is my turn here this is really dangerous mm. for me because all of a sudden there's these def well defended warriors everywhere in my territory and he's sieging me with a giant <gasps> as well uh, at the same time, he has two ships uh, that has killed one of my bombers and he will keep killing them if I don't kill them. So on the other hand, I do have three knights here and... No, uh, this this looks here. this looks really bad for you. <laughs> this looks yeah, really bad. So like, look at these guys. <gasps> it's just, it's so many units are attacking at once. So what do I do? I just kill everything. <laughs> but you're still just doing defense. You're still playing catch yeah. up. You haven't been able to make an assault on any of his territory. Nope. That's the thing. I have to wait patiently until I get my opportunity. So as you notice here, I put a lot of stuff in the water. I put down a rammer. I put down to three three boats didn't upgrade them because i know they'll they'll die immediately mm. plus i have no stars uh, i did kill most of his units he still got those three daggers on the mountains yeah which do pose a problem for me oh there's another cloak coming at you i see it mm. So whatever you send out, it just gets killed immediately every time from both sides, kind of. But maybe he's feeding you his fingers and toes. <laughs> yeah. He's so, giving you uh, something to nibble on to keep you busy. At, at this point, you just got to hope the opponent messes up, which he eventually does. Yeah. It continues like this for a little bit, I think. And here's a very long turn. Let's see how it plays out. Oh, he lands a giant and he finally makes a push. Look, he lands a giant and yeah. he moves all his stuff forward. He's like, all right, I'm done with this. I need to just move up, <laughs> right? Yeah. Turn like, 56. I gotta go cook food. <laughs> yeah. He moves forward everything. All right, so at the beginning, beginning of my turn here, it doesn't look that good. He's about to just murder me, <laughs> it feels like. But 
I use my bombers first and do on siege. Mm -hmm. First priority on siege, get rid of his bombers and his giants. Giants are a limited resource, you need to get rid of them if you can. Then I yeah. use my knight to just finish off anything that has mm -hmm. low health. That way I can still use my lost bomber to hit his, uh, like this chain of three people, mm -hmm. two bombers and a giant. Okay, so before I do that, I also put down my giant because something I noticed was if you put your giant in a boat, it does damage. Yes. Yes. For some reason. <laughs> and also when it yeah. exits the boat. So when a giant goes into a port or when a giant disembarks, it still does that yeah. smash damage. So, mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy. So you see here, I have a couple catapults yes. to lower their health. I have a giant and I have a knight. Prime recipe for a chain. Mm -hmm. Soften them up with the ranged and then come through with the knight. Yeah, the only thing is I kind of wished I could go even further because you have yeah. all, all these tasty snacks here, two <gasps> catapults, a night, no, no, an open city mm -hmm. as well. That would have been tasty, but you couldn't get that far. Yeah, so the thing I was doing the whole time, all these turns, was just moving my, uh, my knights mm -hmm. from the left to the north. Mm. So I had, I made knights in my capital, capital sometimes, sometimes in my cities close to the capital, and mm -hmm. then I moved them up north just so I could attack. I got a, a couple of knight chains here and there. Another giant. Yeah. What, le what, how big is that city? Is it level like 10? Oh, yeah. Uh, there. Oh, nine. You know, you get a 10. Look at that. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> All right, so now he makes a move, but most of his units are gone. You killed so many. Yeah. So at this point, it's my like, my chance yeah. to kind of get naval superiority because he only has a couple bombers to stop me. Uh, and I keep night chaining stuff and move out my giants, mm -hmm. all of them. Finally, I have an... I have enough giants compared to how many bombers he has. Mm -hmm. I can just hit everything at once. Yeah, so really I think the change, the turn of the tide was that that other turn, what was it, 57 or 56, when he made this big push, but you were able to clear it with your ranged units and knights, and that left him with like half his navy. And now you finally can put yeah. your units in the water, especially your juggernauts. Yeah. Yeah, so even though he killed almost everything, I do still have two juggernauts, mm -hmm. uh, okay, hope, HP. So as long as I just move them into the bombers, I'll get some breathing room to make more units and move more units towards him. So rammers are pretty good for this. I make a couple of them. Did you make a knight rammer? Uh, I might not. Oh, yes, I? you yeah, did. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? So, at this point, it's kind of like my win. Cause yeah. Because I actually have some presence. But he's fighting pretty strong. As but you can see, it takes two, two of his uh, bombers to kill one of my rammers because they're all low HP. And uh, as long as... It, it, the rule about like spacing against knights apply to bombers too. Because mm -hmm. knights chain knights chain units if they you know, if they're next to each other. Right. And uh, bombers slash dragons they have splash. Uh, also the catapult from uh, from uh, Simanti yes. does splash too. So you have, so you have, to, have space... to space your units. Yeah, you have to space the units mm -hmm. out to. So the bombers don't hit more units. Yeah. Yeah, which is a lot harder on water, but it does work a little bit because, as you can see, one of my rammers survived. Yeah, I think he does not have the advantage anymore. Now you have your chance. Mm. Mm -hmm. 200 stars. 
Dang. Yeah. <laughs> and you have temples on land and on the mountains? You got stars to burn. You're making temples. It's like at some point, you just get so many stars. But look, he has 34 stars and you had 200. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you just have more of an economy. Again, even though you couldn't put units in there, you have more cities. They're big cities. Level 10, level mm. 8, level big cities making lots of stars and the markets. So I think in the end, your economy was just also what got what kept you alive to survive long enough to fight yeah so at this point i just keep making rammers killing his stuff mm -hmm. and uh, it's just gg it's gg yeah. yeah it was quite fun um in hindsight like when it was all done it felt pretty good Thank mm. you. Thank you so much for sharing this game with me. I think it's really different. Um, a lot of stuff that, yeah, I have not seen before. So thanks very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps us a lot. For more Polytopia games with expert commentary, click the links in the description. Join our Discord server. Compete in a tournament. The link to the Discord is also in the description. Take care. See you on the next one.